Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in today's lesson, we're just going to quickly go over a new feature, which I think is pretty cool in Game Maker Studio, and that is the GIF save feature. Now, I have a repository hosted on GitHub. Basically, if you don't know what this means, is you can go to this URL at the top, and you can download as a zip file, and you'll get all of these files here, which you can open up in Game Maker Studio. So if we scroll down to the readme, you can see the demo project allows us to create a picture and save it as an animated GIF. Now, shout outs to Greg here, and I cannot pronounce your last name, sorry about that. But he provided a little bit of snippet on how he used uh, Game Maker Studio to create animated GIFs. And it's pretty much the same or close to the same code as we're going to go over here. So let's quickly switch to Game Maker Studio just to go over the code itself. So you can see here we have our demo project in the room. I'm not going to go over too much, but we have our cursor. And then this guy right here, this is the object GIF application. So this is the one that's going to handle all of the recording and everything for us. If we open it up in the create event, all we have is a single variable. We'll just say if it's recording or not. In this step event, we are checking to see whether we are pressing the S key on our keyboard. You might want to change this to something else as S is used for walking, but it's just a simple key I have in there. If we press the key, then we check to see if we're recording. If we're not recording, then we just say, yes, recording is true. And then we open a, I'll say a handle to this variable here using GIF open. And GIF open expects two parameters, which is a width and a height. And we also, also have the optional to give a color to clear the GIF, but normally we will just pass in the width and height. Now down here at the bottom, you can see if we are recording, then we have this GIF add surface and we pass in the handle or the ID and then we pass in which application, or sorry, which surface we want to record on. Normally, we're going to want the application service, but we'll come back to this in one second. And the number two here is the delay time in one hundredth of a second. Now, I've played around with this variable quite a lot, and it seems that the number two is probably going to be the best bet on making a smooth animated GIF. You also have some optional parameters such as offsets. And then the last one here, this big word quantization is actually just going to be how much quality you want the GIF to be. So the default is two, obviously three is higher and zero is going to be the lowest, which will actually make it pretty quick to, to save those animated GIFs. Now, if we go back, if we hit the S key again, all we say is recording is now false. So we don't want to be adding anything to our GIF. Then we ask the user where they want to save the file. And if they don't hit cancel, so if they hit cancel, path is empty. But if they save the file, path will have an actual full file name in there. So we just save that animate GIF to that path. So if I run my project here, and I'm going to hit S on my keyboard and draw a little smiley face here. I'll just draw some eyes and a big old smile, maybe a tongue coming out. And I hit S again. You can see it's prompted me on where I want to save the file. So I'll just say smile and I can hit enter. Now, if I load up this animated GIF and I drag it into Chrome, you can see the eyes are being drawn and then the smile will be drawn and the tongue. So it's everything that we drew before we hit the S on our keyboard. Now, the one thing I do want to know is right here, there is no text and there's a reason why there's no text. If we switch back to Game Maker Studio, I want you to look at the surface that we're recording on. We're recording on the application surface. So this is basically where our game is going to exist. The text that was being drawn is actually on the draw GUI event. And the GUI is on a different application than the application surface. So if you wanted to also capture your GUI, you're going to have to figure out a way to copy the entire screen to a different surface and then tell the GIF functions here to record that surface instead of the application surface. So that's just something that you would have to figure out. I'm not going to cover that here, but maybe that's something that we can look into in the future. Anyway, I thought this was pretty cool. It's pretty easy to get a animated GIF out of your game. You don't have to use any third party software anymore, even though those are still pretty handy, but you can see this is pretty neat. 
We'll save it again and done. All right, I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Sorry it took so long to get this video out. I had a concussion and had to basically stay off the computer for quite a while. A huge shout out to Paul and Wayne and the anonymous supporters on Patreon. Thanks for sticking with me and I can't wait to get back into the swing of creating video tutorials for you guys.